Hello everybody, welcome to a new video on this channel. This time no special project, just a normal raw vlog. I'm just back from the IFKA World Championships in Slalom from Sylt and I just unpacked my whole car uh, because it has to go to service and be repaired. And I unpacked everything, everything is back in the racks right here. Uh, yeah, as I said, I just came back actually from a couple of weeks just traveling for competitions uh, we went to Korea Japan Spain before that we went to France and then yeah in the end to Sylt and all of it was just very close together and uh, physically quite hard and, and mentally even more uh, I think it was about 25 competition days within just one month uh, so super dense uh, quite intense I, I had a moment on Sylt because the competition didn't go so well for me and you know I, I think that was mainly because I was mentally exhausted so I had quite a moment uh, on Sylt. It's just so hard to keep up the focus and keep delivering and you know keep dealing with the pressure of having a competition and doing well. I've never experienced something like this where the mind just says no on top on top of the body saying like you're tired but you can go through physical stress and pain you can go through it but you can if you have if you don't have the if you don't have the willpower if, if you're lacking the mental strength and I just don't have it right now but now I'm back so time to recharge the batteries and as I told you before we documented everything that happened in the PWA uh, with a videographer and I'm gonna release a documentary about this very soon uh, actually it's gonna come out this weekend so stay tuned for that uh, as I had asked you before if you like it please make sure to share this with all your friends uh, and let me know in the comments how you like it and stuff uh, because I'm you know we really invested quite some some effort and as well money uh, to make this project happen uh, so I, I hope you like it and you can help me by sharing this with your friends uh, it's also meant to be for people who don't know so much about windsurfing to get everybody hooked on the sport and you know on the excitement of racing so yeah that's that and as I said we're here in my garage everything is unpacked from the car and uh, I had a couple of new boards arrive and in this big package there is a one meter foil board and I actually want to try it out uh, because in the PWA World Cup we're not allowed to use a wider board than 91 centimeter but the word is that the wider the board the better it is uh, for foiling because you can put more leverage on the foil and you know a few a couple of other things and in the German windsurf cup I can use a one meter wide board if I want to so I gotta try it out for myself which board is better the 91 centimeter wide or the one meter wide foil board and I'm gonna take you guys with me and we'll find out which one works better but first I gotta unpack this monster Alright, let's go! Also, in case you were wondering about this car, I really want to take a second to say thank you to Volkswagen for helping me out with this car while my car is in service. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get to the beach. So, thanks! About the weather today, it's a sunny summer day uh, with a forecast of about 10 to 15 knots east wind so should be perfect for foiling I took my 10.0 and 9.0 foil sail uh, and I'm going to my home spot I don't think there's anybody else with foil gear right now so nobody to compare with but uh, I'm just gonna go by myself to see to see how the feeling on the new board is yeah looks like it's windy Perfect conditions. Light breeze, side shore, warm.
Yes. I went out with my tiny one centimeter board. And then after that, I'm going to go on this one meter board. Nice to meet you. Back to the beach. Gotta hurry up a bit. Because the reason it is so warm is basically that there's a thunderstorm coming. I don't know if you can see it right over there. So, gotta hurry up a bit before that thing comes here. Gotta go on the one meter board now. Okay, that thunderstorm is coming a bit faster. Alright, time for a wrap up. I hope the audio recorded everything I said on the water. If not, uh, apologies for the bad audio quality. By the way, let me know in the comments how you liked it, me being out on the water and talking uh, to you guys. And yeah, the one meter board felt quite good actually. Uh, there was no disadvantage in jibing. The tacking felt really solid and overall you get a good control with a, with a white board. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that board for now, but I need to test it against another rider to see how the speed is, how the upwind angle is, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, as I said, don't forget to subscribe because the PWA documentary is gonna come out very soon and you don't wanna miss that. As I mentioned before, every single comment under the one of those episodes is gonna be able to win a sale. So make sure you don't miss out on that and I would say I see you soon peace by the way guys what a timing I'm just done packing everything and look at this thunderstorm coming <laughs> <laughs>